Hello friends, this video on organisms and population part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So that was all about regulation. So basically organisms which are able to regulate their bodies undergo a lot of metabolic activities because of which uh, they can always maintain a, a steady state or an, a, a constant internal environment within them. But not all organisms are capable to regulate because in order to regulate it, it is like a quite an energy expensive process because to carry out so much of metabolic activities inside our body we need to spend that much of energy now not all organisms are capable of spending so much energy so these other type of organisms which do not have a mechanism to regulate their internal temperature and osmotic concentration so they conform and these organisms are known as conform so the, such organisms are called conformers. So what do they do? They do not regulate anything, if any internal condition, like they do not uh, change or they do not maintain a constant internal temperature, they do not maintain a constant water content within their body. So they are completely dependent upon the changes in external environment. So if the temperature outside changes, their body's internal temperature also changes. If the water content outside changes, then the internal water content of that organism also changes. So they are like directly dependent. I mean, they are the way the environment is. So some examples of conformers are the reptiles and the amphibians. So these reptiles and amphibians are also termed as cold-blooded animals. So this is also another term which is used for these kind of animals. So cold-blooded animals are those animals whose internal temperature changes with the changes in the external temperature. Now, these organisms cannot spend so much energy like the regulators can. So, therefore, they adjust in different ways. Now, however, they also try to adjust. Now, you might say that, okay, when the weather becomes very, very cold, so that means the temperature inside the body of these organisms will also reduce a lot. So, that can cause death also in certain cases. Then how do they manage? Now they do not have an internal mechanism as such, but there are a couple of things we they, which they tend to do in order to adjust. For example, they try to reduce their activity when the external temperature falls to a very low value. Now when they reduce their activity, what happens? So when you are not much active, you are not spending a lot of energy. So these kind of behavioral changes can help you to adapt to temperature. When the temperature outside is very low, you don't go out much. You don't roam around here and there because you know that you cannot control the temperature of your body. So you just remain at one cozy place and just be there. So these kind of behavioral changes are very common commonly seen in conformers. Again, during cold weather, they stay exposed to sun because sun provides the sunlight which in turn gives heat. So this helps them to keep warm. So that means they expose themselves to sun during cold weather. Now, these conformers, they have certain advantages as well as disadvantages associated with them. So, in terms of advantage, it is, now, when I say advantage, I mean advantage of conformers over regulators is that here the metabolic costs are very low because in case of regulators, there are internal metabolic activities which take place in order to maintain the constant internal uh, environment. So that involves a lot of energy expense. But in this case, the metabolic costs are very minimum because you are not spending a lot of energy to maintain homeostasis. But the disadvantage of conformers uh, is that they have limited ecological niche. That means they cannot survive at any weather. They cannot survive at any region while the regulators can because it doesn't matter whether the region is very hot and humid because they, they will anyways manage or control or their internal body temperature but these conformers can't so they can only stay in a particular region with a climate which is suitable for their survival second thing is in conformers cells experience drastic changes with external conditions which can sometimes destroy the cells because you have nothing to you know like control your internal environment so if suddenly the, there are abrupt changes in the external conditions so those abrupt changes will affect the will cause similar changes within the body of that organism so that can destroy cells of the organisms so these are some of the limitations of conformers 
So if we try to compare regulators with conformers, we see that in regulators, they have constant homeostasis. Therefore, they consume more energy because home, in order to maintain homeostasis, a lot of metabolic activity has to take place inside the body, which needs more energy. So these organisms are more active, but conformers are less active because they always want to keep themselves safe. So they try to be less active to conserve some energy. In regulators, internal temperature is independent of external temperature con conditions because the internal temperature will always remain the same. Whereas in case of conformers, the internal temperature will change as the external temperature changes. So if the external temperature increases, internal temperature also increases. External temperature decreases, internal temperature also decreases. So that's the case with conformers. So I hope that this concept of regulators and conformers are clear to you because these are very important concepts and you should understand them really well. So here you see, what are we talking about here? So here we are actually seeing the interaction of different organisms with the environmental factors. How an organism interact with the temperature, uh, how it interacts with the water content outside. So it, it is all about interaction between organism and its environment and different organisms do it in different ways. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.